You, you rode the Atlantic twice, you yeah. sailed the Atlantic once. What was the best moment? That is really hard. I think it's, um, it's quite difficult because the um, emotions that you feel while you're out there are so like the sea. So sometimes you're like, Choppy. Right, yeah, right up there, like, ah, you know, the next minute it's like, Whoa. there's no, there's very rarely a flat calm, metaphorically or physically. So, you know, you don't really have a lot of time just to be, you're, you're in your head a lot. How did you kind of mentally, you know, keep there when you're doing, you know, four months yeah. on a boat with one person or three people? I don't know if I did keep mentally healthy on the second one. The second one was really, really tough. Was that because it was a, a world, uh, a record breaking attempt? It was a record breaking attempt. So we had a goal in mind and it went epically wrong. Um, and the dynamics on the team were really difficult and really tough, especially when one of the girls got off the boat. Yeah, so we were disqualified from the race. So our reason for being there had changed significantly and that was really, really hard. So that was, that was tough. But for Mum and I, it was far easier because we had a goal in mind and that was not to fail however long it took us. Why did you join the Rover Tanya project and what does it mean to you? Well I'm, I'm a rower aren't I so you know it seemed like a perfect fit and and with all the work that I've been doing around mental health anyway um, it, yeah why wouldn't I why join in? What would you what would you tell to Bournemouth University staff and students uh, you know why would you why would you tell them to do the Royal Britannia event because obviously um, Doing sport, you, I think you know better than anyone that doing a physical activity really helps with, uh, yeah. you know, mental, uh, yeah. mental and yeah. uh, physical well-being. Yeah. Like, what would you tell them? I think, you know, we're growing, we're becoming more knowledgeable in the fact that being active is incredible for your mental health in terms of how you feel about your body and its capabilities, as well as just how it works in the mind, you know, on a physiological level. And um, you know, this is a first step and for many people it will be. I think it's very easy to look at somebody like myself and see me as potentially an athlete, but I'm not, I really am not. Every adventure I've ever gone on is because of a mental health issue that I was tackling at that time. So with um, my mum's row, I was going because I had anxiety um, and eating disorders. And what it taught me is that you've got to use your body as a, as a tool rather than, you know, kind of punishing it for some deeper sense of you know well-being so um, it totally changed my mindset and then everything since has been a means to get out into the open air and to just enjoy being active and you know if you are not a rower and you want to come and sit on a rowing machine for half an hour just enjoy the camaraderie of being around other people who are doing the same thing and just have that opportunity to get a bit of a sweat on <laughs>